Next month, Louisiana will hold a special election after the unexpected opening of two of its U.S. congressional seats. That includes one left vacant by the late Republican Congressman-elect Luke Letlow. He died in December from complications of COVID-19 before he could be sworn into office. Twelve candidates have filed to compete in the 5th District, and Letlow's widow, Julia, is among the contenders. Rated solid Republican, the 5th District is Louisiana's largest and poorest. Meanwhile, 15 candidates are competing to represent the New Orleans-based 2nd Congressional District. That seat opened after Democratic Congressman Cedric Richmond resigned to join President Biden's senior leadership team. Greg Hilburn joins me now from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He's a politics reporter for the News Store. Hi there, Greg. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. So let's oh, start with the 5th Congressional District. Uh, the Louisiana Republican Party recently endorsed Julia Letlow to replace her late husband. If she wins, she'd be the first Republican woman to represent Louisiana in Congress. Tell us more about her. Why does she say she's running? Well, Julia Letlow is an accomplished, uh, had an accomplished person in her own right. She a, has a Ph.D. She's a senior executive at a university where she was also a finalist there for the president's job just last fall. Uh, she said she wants to pick up the torch uh, that her husband, uh, when it fell, after he fell, and carry on. Uh, but she has emphasizes that though they were partners, she is her own person and uh, will rep in our own uh, style of representation. Well, there are 12 candidates vying for that seat. Any clear leader so far? Well, Ms. Letlow has to be considered the clear favorite. She's, it's, a, it's a heavily Republican district. Uh, most of the Republicans that would have had any kind of built-in constituencies declined to run once she ran. She will have a uh, leading Democratic uh, opponent, uh, Candy Kristoff, who will run, who finished third in the primary and out of the out of the runoff election. But she will be; those are considered the top two candidates to, among analysts. Well, there have been more than 400,000 confirmed COVID cases in Louisiana, and you've also been covering the state's pandemic response. How is that impacting the race, particularly for Mrs. Letlow, whose husband died of complications from it? Well, as you can imagine, there's the traditional methods of campaigning, stump speeches. They're, oh, they're, they've been cut down so much. So you have to get your message out through, of course, through social media, all those platforms, and if you can raise enough money on TV. Now, none of these candidates have gone up on TV yet. Keep in mind, this was a these both of these elections are are shotgun starts. I mean, it's less than three months from qualifying to the March 20th election. So it, I mean, it's a sprint. Mm. Well, we're seeing some big fundraising pour into the second congressional district left vacant by Cedric Richmond. Last week, a Baton Rouge activist who has never held political office reported that he's raised more than $250,000 since qualifying for the race last month. Another candidate, supported by Stacey Abrams, reports a $300,000 haul. What can you tell us about the top contenders for this race? Well, that is a is Louisiana's only, considered Louisiana's only, uh, by analysts, safe Democratic seat. All of the other representatives and the two senators are Republicans in a, in a heavily, you know, in a heavily red state. The top contenders in that race to replace former Congressman Richmond, who, as, as you know and as you uh, mentioned, is now a senior member of President Biden's team, are, um, are two state senators. Senator Troy Carter of New Orleans and Senator Karen Carter Peterson of New Orleans, state senators. And then, as you mentioned, Gary Chambers Jr., a well known activist uh, who had a, uh, one of his speeches at a school board in Baton Rouge went viral uh, a couple of years ago, last year, two years ago, and he has been able to raise some money. Uh, so those are the top three contenders in that in 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 the in congressional two. 
Well, Louisiana has an open primary system, which means all of the candidates run on the same ballot regardless of party. How is that impacting the race? Well, it usually means that there's... Well, they call it they call them jungle primaries because you just throw everybody in in, in the race together, and in many cases you end up with a Republican and a Democrat if if it's a you know traditionally, but in this for instance in the in the case of um, the fifth district back in the fall, two Republicans it's so heavily Republican two Republicans made the runoff. So the top two voter vote getters, unless they get 50 percent plus one, uh, they will go to a runoff election in April. I suspect uh, a runoff in Congressional District 2 and possibly, possibly five, although many analysts believe that Ms. Letlow could win that outright. Of course, her opponents would 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 argue that that won't be the case. Well, as you said, Greg, it is a sprint. March 20th is the date we will be watching. Greg Hilburn for us. Greg, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.